for Jack, and it's great for people here in Columbus. Uh, as we all know, this is a, an incredible golf course. Uh, but people come out and support this event each and every year. They host a Ryder Cup here, too. So um, they're known for having big events here. So I think that's going uh, to be fantastic. I've always liked this golf course. Uh, I played here in the Amber. I absolutely loved it then and loved it as a pro. So I've had some good memories here, and it's always nice to come back to a golf course when uh, obviously I haven't played a whole lot this year. So at least I've come back to a venue in which I have played well at. So um, maybe this time I get four rounds in and, uh, <laughs> and get ready for the open. Fill us in uh, when you were able to get back to practicing. Uh, it sounds like you, you, you put in put the clubs away for a little while after the diagnosis, or right. what it's been like since then? Uh, yeah, I was off for three, so uh, it was about a week and a half before I picked up a club, and then gradually got into it, and then this past probably five, six days, I've been going at it pretty good. Shit. Uh, the last well, six months have been uh, pretty tough, and uh, I'm now starting to get into golf, and starting to play golf again, and get into you know, my, my routine, <coughs> my routine of playing, um, <coughs> sorry, um, which is something I haven't done, I've done a long time, so you know, hopefully I can you know, get back into that and play you know, the rest of the summer and into the fall. Would you, would you say Quail Hollow was the low point in terms of your, we see you publicly, I know probably closer to November 27th was, but in terms of, you know, generally how you you were looking at life back then. It was no, that was, there have been a lot more low moments than that. 